Hey everyone, this is Ben at the English of Everything and a few minutes ago I made a lesson for the beginners out there about basic maths terminology and some of the symbols that are used and the vocabulary for them. So this is a little bit more of an intermediate lesson so hopefully it will help you if you need to uh, build your vocabulary while talking about maths. So we're going to start with the subject of fractions. And in the first video we talked about whole numbers, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And when we talk about fractions we're talking about numbers that are smaller than whole numbers. So 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Uh, one. Also, I imagine you've seen these. These are also fractions. This is half, this is a quarter, and this is a third. So half, quarter, and a third. Okay, there are many, many different fractions, but these are the most basic. And if you were to represent these, uh, with decimal points, this will be 0 0.5, 0 0.25, and 0 0.33333 reoccurring. So it's reoccurring. Because it goes on and on and on and on. Because a third, you can never make a whole number. It will go on forever and for infinity. So these are what fractions are. The next one we have is... graphs. And if you uh, do a job where you have to do presentations, if you work with numbers, if you have to give sales figures, things like this, a lot of the time you will work with graphs. So I'm going to tell you three different types of graphs that people use to present data and information. And the first one uh, is called a bar graph. And this is where you have bars. And you have some numbers on this side, and you have some numbers on this side. And these two lines are called axis. You have the vertical axis, and you have the horizontal axis. And this is a bar graph. It's very commonly used with data. The second one is called a pie chart, or a pie graph. And this is 50%, this is 25%, and uh, it's divided up. All the information, all the data is in one place, and it's divided up into different segments. And so this represents 25%, and things like this. And the third one, again, we have two axis, axis and uh, it's called a line graph. So you have, again, different numbers, different data along the top and bottom, and you have different points and usually these show a flow of time uh, and this is a line graph. I hope you can see that still over there. So we have some fractions, we have three types of graphs. The next one is when you see numbers with smaller little numbers at the top. And these are called uh, to the power of. And this means how many times the large number is times by itself. So 1 to the power of 2, or it's also squared. Uh, when it's 2, it's squared. When it's 3, it's cubed. And anything above 3, for example 4, 5, 6, is the power of, or to the power of. So this is 1 squared, and it means 1 times 1. This is 3 cubed, so it means 3 times 3 times 3. 3 is 1, 2, 3, by itself. 2 to the power of 4, so it means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. And up. So 3 to the power of 5, 4 to the power of 6, 10 to the power of 100. It goes up from there. So we have squared and cubed. Okay, the last one we have are about angles. 
And if you look here on this line graph, there is an angle. And this angle is 90 degrees, because it looks like an L. And we have two types of angles. And the first one is... Uh, which one do we do first? Yeah, obtuse. And the second one is acute. And the difference between these two angles are how much they go are above or below 90 degrees. So if we have 90 degrees, and you have the angle here, uh, anything that is less than 90 degrees, for example here, 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 you have these two angles, this is acute. And anything that is more than 90 degrees, so for example you have 180 degrees here, or you have 90 degrees here. <coughs> so anything between 90 and 180 degrees is obtuse, and anything between 90 and 0 degrees is acute. Okay, so we have fractions, we have half, quarter, third, we have 0 0.5, we have graphs, we have a bar graph, a pie chart, a line graph, and the axis, axis on the vertical and horizontal. Uh, we have squared, uh, to the power of, and cubed. And we have a, uh, obtuse and acute angles. Okay, this is it for the intermediate lesson. I shall see you in another lesson. Okay, have a nice day. Bye-bye.